What's going on guys? I'm Icy Rhythms and this is my review for Wolfenstein The Old Blood. You should be careful. Do not kill anyone unless you have to. What's that? Kill as many Nazis as I can? Wolfenstein The Old Blood is the DLC for Wolfenstein The New Order, except what you're getting here is more of a prequel than anything else. I've been told by some of the Wolfenstein diehards that when you get right down to it, the Old Blood in many ways is really just Return to Castle Wolfenstein, and that's great. Machine Games did make references to it with The New Order, and again more so here with The Old Blood. This game released for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC in 2015, and it can be purchased as a true standalone because you do not need the base game to play it. I said a lot of nice things about the visuals in these latest Wolfenstein games and Old Blood is no different. I'd go a step further and even say that this game is far more optimized in a lot of ways and looks far more clean and crisp than the New Order. I know it goes without saying when it comes to stuff like this, but I'm going to say it anyway. The New Colossus has them both beat. It's not even close and it does run on the much more wonderful id tech 6 which is amazing it's way too soon to do so i understand this but i wish we could get the new order and the old blood on id tech 6 or even 7 which is now a thing with doom eternal but again i know it's way too soon that being said though i still love the art style that they chose here for the new order and especially the old blood they share the same one but i'm telling you there's just something about the old blood that just seems far more clean far more crisp and it looks amazing because of it. A, a lot of the texture pop in or texture streaming issues that plagues id Tech 5 games, you know, stuff like the New Order or even the original Rage game. I'm just not seeing a lot of those same issues with the Old Blood, but I did originally play the Old Blood in 2018, so it's possible a lot of that stuff was patched out. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure, but it just to me it's a far more cleaner looking game over the new order. You can even see some of those id Tech 5 issues with stuff like, you know, the Evil Within 1 and 2, even though both of those are heavily, heavily modified id Tech 5. So that's something to think about as well. I know that pop-in and texture streaming issues isn't really something that a lot of gamers are going to say, man, I'm not going to play this game anymore, or it really gets to them, but it can be a big thing for me if it's happening pretty often and you know a little less so with the new order and more so with rage but just again the old blood is it seems to be free of those issues entirely so unless it's happening pretty often it's not necessarily a big thing for me either trying not to spend too much time on the visuals because i already gave them their praise with the new order and especially the new colossus these Wolfenstein games look fantastic, and I'll accept no slander that says otherwise. The Old Blood's gameplay didn't change much from the New Order, and depending on how you feel about the New Order, I guess that could be a good or bad thing. Did you like the mechanics? Did you enjoy the gameplay loop? If not, then you're probably not going to like the Old Blood, and don't even bother with the New Colossus. I mean, a, a lot of these mechanics, a lot of the gameplay loop is still very much the same. If there's one knock on the game, I think we can go ahead and get it out of the way, because I feel like it, it may be my only knock on the game. I can admit that the Old Blood probably doesn't have the best start and many people probably put it down for good or if you tried to play it now depending on how you feel about the mechanics and the gameplay loop you will put it down for good because you do spend a decent amount of time early in the game stabbing dogs, crouching around, crawling around. You know for a triple A first person fast paced shooter you know with the Wolfenstein name that just shouldn't be something that you should be doing. For stealth in a game like this, I, I just feel like they, they need to come up with something else. This goes back to my, when developers run out of ideas, 
stealth mechanics. That's how we're gonna get out of this. We can't think of anything else, so stealth mechanics. I didn't really mind it much with the old blood because I, I feel like it doesn't overstay its welcome and they can be fun because it's just satisfying given how brutal some of these stealth kills are and how good they look, how, how well the animations were thrown together. It's If it's done right because you know it allows me to play a lot of different ways, then I like that. I just don't want it to overstay its welcome in a first-person shooter like Wolfenstein. If you want to play a god-tier FPS like these newer Wolfenstein games with stealth and stealth only, you'll probably be able to do that for the most part. But who the hell wants to play a game like Wolfenstein all the way through the game that way? I enjoyed approaching some of the game's chapters with a combination of a tiny bit of stealth and then getting crazy and going in guns blazing because that's what makes a Wolfenstein game or games like these really fun is just getting crazy and going in there and blasting the hell out of everyone. Sometimes one weapon in one hand and then if you want maximum effort and devastation, you can dual wield just about every weapon in the game, of which there are many. And all of the weapons and explosions have a really good sound and feel to them, so you're never wondering why this game with guns has garbage sounds. I love you, Resident Evil 2 Remake, but I'm definitely looking at you with some of your guns. So yeah, why the hell would you go into a situation with all stealth in a game like this that allows you to do all of what this game allows you to do? You know, they're throwing 20, 30 enemies at you, you know, come on, you're, you're gonna stealth those guys? You're really gonna spend like the next 10, 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out how not to get caught? I mean, I guess that can be fun for some people, just not me and certainly not in a Wolfenstein game. Again, not much change with the overall mechanics of the game. There's not tons and tons of new stuff, but there is a new item that allows you to climb up some walls when the situations and environments call for it. And the environments are probably the biggest change to the game, but in the best possible way. I think the environments in the Old Blood are the best they've been in any of the latest Wolfenstein titles. And I'm not taking anything away from the New Order or Colossus because I feel like the level design and just the overall environments themselves are really good in those games. But I think they're just so much more varied here, it seems, and take you to places that for the most part all look different from each other. And none of it is boring. I don't know how you could be bored, but, you know, I have grown to be very biased with these latest Wolfenstein games, and I know how I feel about them. I, I just, I don't see how you could be bored. The second biggest change in the Old Blood has divided the community at some levels, depending on who you ask. There is a point in the game where it becomes kill scumbag soldiers, and out of nowhere switches to kill the scumbag soldiers that are now zombies. I know that's a little bit of a story spoiler, and normally I'm great about not talking very much about stories at all in games, just trying to be respectful with the viewer, but I felt with this review, it was something that I needed to mention, because some people aren't feeling the zombie thing, some people feel like it's kind of played out, and you just need to know that this is coming, and the game kind of flips on you on a dime. Some people loved it, others were in the meh, and I was easily in the loved it camp, so that's where I stand on the old blood and the zombies. I think part of the reason I loved it is because I don't yet know enough about the Wolfenstein universe, and I'm not tired of killing zombies and things like that in game, so bring it on, I say. As long as the whole game wasn't about that, I, I, at that point, I should just fire up Call of Duty or, you know, Killing Floor or something. But the whole game isn't like that, and there's still a story here, and I think everything's really good as far as that goes. So it's not like it's just an all-out zombie killing fest. So while it was a little unexpected, it was a very cool and welcome change for me. And if that wasn't enough, when you reach that point in the game, you'll find yourself killing those human enemies that sometimes will turn into zombies right after killing them. Maybe this changes if you decide to blow them up instead? I'm not sure. I think the gameplay here is still a lot of fun. Anyone can have fun playing this game because it does a lot of things well from a video game, gamey standpoint. It's, you know, it's got one of those loops that I don't think I would ever grow tired of. 
definitely return to games like this and play them for three or four hours and just remember how great they are or possibly depending on the game you know beat it all the way through again it's more shooty mcshooterkins than you know hey watch a bunch of cutscenes and press e really fast to defeat the final boss it's not like that you're getting a lot of gameplay in the old blood which was a nice return after going back and playing the new colossus only a bit though just to realize you know how much better it could have been with a lot more gameplay and a lot less nonsense um france france my cousin is also well we're losing the bloody war nobody told me HQ's put a tight lid on it. General Death said is manufacturing unstoppable killing machines in a secret compound. I made this gift for my friend and father's workshop here in Wolfsburg. It's Jewish tradition to give food on this day, but I wanted her to have something special. We once again follow BJ Blaskowitz into familiar territory as you blast your way through an endless amount of assholes in this story. The Old Blood takes place in 1946, just before you dig into the events that get the New Order off of its feet. And we begin in Castle Wolfenstein, which is just epic. Inside as well as out, it just looks awesome. I don't know what it was. Something came over me in that first cutscene as you watch it play out. BJ and Wesley pulling up to the castle. It's just something happened, man. I was just like, this is going to be you know, an amazing experience. I'm about to play an amazing game, even if the old blood is a little on the short side. Right from the get-go, the game lets you know that Wesley and BJ are trying to get their hands on this folder, this particular folder that contains the location of none other than Death's Head, and it goes about as well as you would expect. So then what we're left with at this point is hunting down our villain for this game, Helga, for this so-called top secret folder. And overall, I feel like this was a lot more focused than Wolfenstein 2, but not quite as well done as the New Order. In some ways, The Old Blood is the best of the bunch because the presentation and the voice acting is so damn good. It's great in all of these games, but there's just something about The Old Blood that feels a little more special to me. <laughs> That's why I'm called the Kals. Die spinnen die Arms hot dog. Die werden sich wundern, wenn wir an der Macht sind. Weiter. To wrap this all up, the Old Blood is a must play if you like these Wolfenstein games, and certainly a must play if you enjoy shooters. If you like shooters. And Wolfenstein, this is one of the best and most fun you can play for the generation. I'm sure someone in the comment section will eventually come along and tell me that the other games are better. But in the end, all of that is subjective and really just a matter of opinion. Definitely a favorite for this generation and myself. And again, easily a game I'll return to at least one or two more times. It's short enough to not feel like... It's dragging on, but long enough to enjoy greatly and have tons of fun. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys have been great, man. Some of these reviews have, you know, just been so well received and I'm forever humble because of it. It's in so many ways just changed the entire channel and just how I approach these videos in general. So you guys have a good one. Take care. There will be more. Peace.